Hello, this is Josh here today with iTouchApps.net. Today, I'm going to be reviewing iMovie. This is a $4.99 application in the iOS App Store. It allows you to edit videos on your iOS device. From the launch screen here, you can see that we can, uh, it's giving, telling us to tap the plus symbol to start a new project or trailer. We can also tap this question mark and it's going to give us an overlay of items to help us um, learn the application and what each thing does. So we'll hit the plus and we'll start a new project. And from here, it's also overlaid the help for us to see, or we can disable that from here. So this top left button is going to take us back to the project screen where we just were. This next one will allow us to undo what we've um, just done to our project. And then the button on the far right will allow us to adjust our project settings, which will let us adjust how the titles are automatically overlaid, uh, enable or disable theme music, and uh, enable or disable fading in or out to a black screen at the beginning or end of your video file. So if we come back here to the project, we can hit the import media button, which is this lower left button. It's automatically going to list all your videos that are on your iOS device right here. In the photos tab, it's going to show all your photos that are in your camera roll. And in the audio tab, it's going to have all the audio or music from your um, iPod section of your iPhone that you can import into your video. So I'm going to go back and choose a video to import. We'll just do this one. It's of a FIFA game. We will we can press the play button or skim through the start or stop um, to only import a section, but we'll import the whole clip. So you see we've got our clip here. We can skim back and forth through it. So we can press the play button and play through it. It's going to play our video in real time. Um, we can press this little microphone button, and this will allow us to record audio. You'll see it's, it's picking up my voice here, and we can press record. It will start uh, a countdown, and from there it will start recording what we're saying. And you'll see it's playing the video in real time too, so we can see um, how far it's progressing um, and how my audio matches up with the video. So we can hit stop. It's going to allow us to retake, review, accept, or cancel it. So we can accept it. And now we've got that audio track on there. We can also press this next button. It will pull up the camera. And from here we can record video, take a picture, um, do things like that with the camera, and import them directly into the project. So if we double click on a clip here, or double tap rather, we can change the title style to opening, middle, or ending. So we can set an opening title. From here we can um, just enter in um, a little test uh, lower third. We'll do test overlay and hit done. And we have that uh, at the beginning of our video. It's going to come in and then it will um, stay during the duration of our video, but we can adjust that in the settings how long it will it'll last uh, or what type of um, title it will be based on how long it'll last. You can see we can undo this um, and it'll change back the title that we had. We can just leave it as the test title. We can go back to the project screen. It will allow you to have multiple projects here. We can rename our project um, just by tapping there. We can say test. Now from here we have options to playback and it's going to ask if we would like to optimize playback. Um, that will give you a full featured um, playback or rather like a non choppy playback. So it will basically just temporarily render it out so you can view it. You can share your project to Camera Roll, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN, iReport or to iTunes. The iReport is a very handy feature if you had something like breaking news or, or some news clips that you wanted to, to share with CNN. You can copy projects from iTunes if you have saved them to iTunes. So if you want to share it, you can save to your camera roll, and then it's going to ask you what your export size should be, um, medium, large, or HD. So if you do HD, it's going to take longer to render and be your larger video file, but it's going to be full quality. So I'll just hit medium just for a sample um, so you can see how long it takes to render. It does fairly quickly. This is only a 29 second um, clip with a simple title on it, but it's still very impressive to be rendering video from a phone. So this is just a basic overview of iMovie. It doesn't have a ton of features, but if you just need to do some simple little edits, trim off on the beginning and end, maybe put two clips together, it is a very, very handy application for $4.99 in the iOS App Store. Thanks for watching.